The other day, I was knee-deep into Reddit when I found the conspiracy theory iceberg. Now, I know that many people have covered this topic on YouTube. It's huge. There are several variations, but I think this one is the best, not only because it is- But one conspiracy really caught my attention. The CIA. This is the first affirmation of a few needed to said to kickstart your gateway process. The gateway process is a step-by-step -step handbook into delving deep into your subconscious and exploring the world from within yourself metaphysically rather than your own body. Sound too good to be true? It actually is true and quite possible. In today's video, we will explore and discuss the gateway process documents that have been declassified by the CIA and lose our minds and sanity together. Questioning My Existence Edition In June of 1983, Wayne Donald set out to examine and analyze the Gateway experience in relation of its utility and its ability to be weaponized for the government. This Gateway document was declassified in 2003 and it showed how to synchronize both brain hemispheres to examine human consciousness and how it functions in relation to the universe. The Gateway Process is a process started by the Monroe Institution to teach people how to hemisphere, a technique known as allowing the two hemispheres of your brain to function exactly together so the frequency and amplitudes of both hemispheres are exactly the same. This synchronization unlocks an extremely optimized part of the human brain that allows for us to vibrate higher and have an out-of-body experience and even time travel. This can alter consciousness and allow you to escape the restrictions of time and space. The document goes into a step-by-step -step guide into how to reach this hemisync state. Let's go down the list. Firstly, you have to shut off your left hemisphere. This can be achieved through three techniques. Hypnosis, transcendental meditation, and biofeedback. Hypnosis is a practice wherein you are deeply focused on something in a trance-like state. The reason this method is highly effective in shutting down the left hemisphere of your brain is because what you're observing is so boring and there's no constant stimulus that your left hemisphere, which is known for problem solving and reasoning, kind of taps out due to the boredom. This leaves the right hemisphere to be the primary receiver of all the input, without the filtration of the left hemisphere. This form of meditation is being able to drop energy from your spinal cord into your crown chakra, the right hemisphere, so it can readily sync up with the left hemisphere. This may also be called Kundalini meditation. Biofeedback is a practice in which instead of quote unquote turning off the left hemisphere, you can teach the left hemisphere to visualize what you want, feel all the feelings of your desired outcome repeatedly to access the right hemisphere. It is basically using your logical thinking to manually use your right hemisphere. 
This may also be known as manifestation. This technique is strengthened by affirmations and repetition and is able to block pain, heal the body, and even destroy malignant tumors. Within this gateway experience, there are several tapes that when listened to allows you to achieve hemi-sync from the techniques stated before. However, the beat frequencies within these tapes are only half the reason why the gateway system works. The frequencies provided within these tapes achieve physical quietude through heart resonance. Hearing these frequencies and change in resonance actually eliminates the bifurcation echo. The bifurcation echo is when the left ventricle of the heart ejects blood, the aorta, being elastic, balloons out just beyond the valve and causes a pressure pulse to travel down along the aorta. When the pressure pulse reaches the bifurcation in the lower abdomen, which is where the aorta forks in two to go into the legs, part of the pressure pulse rebounds and starts traveling up the aorta. If in the meantime the heart ejects more blood and a new pressure pulse is traveling down, these two pressure points will eventually collide somewhere along that aorta and produce an interference pattern. By placing your body and mind in a sleep-like meditative state through the gateway tape, not only are you sinking up the hemispheres, but your body also enters this state as well. The bifurcation echo slowly fades away and weakens the force in which the blood is pushed into the aorta. This coherence vibration of your whole body turns into a vibrational system that transfers and emits energy. This vibration will travel all around the world in one seventh of a second, and due to the fact that it is a long wavelength, it will go through metal, concrete, water, making it the ideal medium for a telepathic signal. This vibration becomes in harmony with the surrounding electrostatic medium, Earth's energy. This means that the two electrostatic mediums, the body and the Earth's energy field, are the same energy continuum. And as the brain continues to hemisync and be in a meditative state, the person is able to experience an out-of-body experience and also communicate with other human minds that are tuned similarly and are vibrationally connected with the Earth. Using Benton's example, let's try to examine this very complex theory. Imagine a bowl of water. Now imagine that there are three pebbles dropped into this bowl of water. Evidently, there are going to be ripples when the pebbles hit the surface of the water. As soon as the ripples form, you freeze the entire bowl of water instantly. You cut away all the ice until you have a very, very small part of it. And from that, you can tell exactly where the pebble was dropped, how far away and how far into the bowl the pebble was. This is an example of a hologram. A hologram is taking anything and being able to expand its dimensional capability. To put this more into perspective, holograms are all around you. You are actually looking at a hologram right now. The screen on which we are viewing this video is two-dimensional, but the video itself is three-dimensional. If I was a person filming in my room right now, you would be looking at me and my room and would be able to identify the foreground, focus, and background. It's three dimension. This means that you are seeing this three dimensional video from a two dimensional source. Hence, it is a hologram, which, in simpler terms, is basically allowing you to infer from the information given things that exist but you cannot see. Let's make this even more clear. As mentioned before, you can observe how far and how deep a pebble hit a body of water based on the wave or ripple it creates. Now, when the pebble is dropped, by the time the wave reaches you, it is the effect of something that has already passed. But the actual information of that pebble hitting the water is in the future, according to you. By the time that ripple hits you, then you will know that there was a pebble that was dropped. We can now talk about time and space. Time, motion, and space only exist when there's something that is not in motion. Let me expand. For example, the Earth is orbiting at a speed of a thousand miles per hour, but we think we are still as our environment does not change. Let me make this simpler. If I'm on the highway going 80 kilometers an hour, and there's a person on a bicycle with me on the highway, and we cannot see the background and foreground, it will seem like the both of us are standing still. Now using that logic, the universe and its vibrations are completely still. It has no confines and is never ending. Thus, it is still. It is us and the actions we create that cause ripples in the universe's frequency and amplitude that allow us to measure time, motion, and space. So, when you go into hemisync, you are able to have lower and later amplitude.
So now that we have understood that universe is made up of interacting energy fields, some that are resting in some constant motion, the CIA document claims that the human mind itself is a hologram as well. It's a hologram that adjusts itself to the universe's hologram by energy exchange. The state when this is achieved is called consciousness. To make this clearer, when the energy is passed through the hologram of the universe and is filtered through the electrostatic field, which remember also has the human mind within it, the energy is then filtered to only the extent the electrostatic field is operating on. This means the same frequency and amplitude that it can harmonize with. And since our brain has a different frequency and amplitude as well, the energy changes more. The mind further sees up the energy as the mind is trying to make sense of the holographic image with tools such as memory and other quote-unquote logical skills. Furthermore, scientists think that the brain operates on a binary system of go, no go. So once the brain lays a three-dimensional matrix over the holographic information received, it tries to condense and reduce the information to the 2D form. This allows the brain to process all the information using a binary system. You may have heard that you create your own reality, while the CIA may have just proven this to be true. As said before, our minds operate using the binary system. It registers information by comparison only. This means that whatever we perceive, we only perceive differences. So, when we reach a state of hemisync, and when we expand consciousness, the right hemisphere of the brain perceives everything holistically in a non-linear and non-verbal way. This means that the left hemisphere creates a huge filter between the holographic information and our consciousness while the right hemisphere just accepts the information as is. Well, this video seemed nothing short of the matrix. I hope you found today's existential crisis. Have fun reflecting on this information, which in CIA terms is just basically duplicating aspects of your own hologram, projecting them out, perceiving that projection, putting it through comparison with memory, which in and of itself is another hologram and measuring the differences in the information I have just presented you with with your left hemisphere's go no go system to finally end up reflecting. Have fun figuring that one out. If you want a part two to this video talking about what the CIA has to say about dimensions and other mind-bending things or would just like more videos like this, please let me know so I can continue doing what you guys like.